Welcome back to another episode of Multiblock Madness, where today we're going to be making glitch armor. So I've just been teaching the different recipes that we need. Um, uh, this weather crystal, we can make all of these things just at an alloy smelter. So like they're pretty good. I think we're already automating vibrant alloys, so he's done. Pulsating crystal, pulsating ironing diamond, done. Uh, the ender crystal requires a soul binder. Um, we may or may not have the stuff for that. We almost have the stuff for that. Solarium was just... Uh, Solarium I think is just a soul... Soul sand and gold. So let's teach that recipe. Oh, I've already got it. Nice. I did think I might have already made that. Cool. So. Boom. A salt binder. Easy. I just realized I'm going to want another channel. Did I have a spear one over here? No, I've used them all. Alright, I guess we'll just make... Oh yeah, I am ready to run it. We'll have this here. This is going to want another capacitor. Capacitor for a soul binder. Uh, Ender IO, because they're not called, all called capacitors. That one there's pretty good. That one there is better. Because, uh, yeah, the global level is, oh, it might have been the same actually. And I mean, that's probably fine. I don't think we really need to min max our Soul Binder 3.31, but this is, I mean, that is like just, just better. All right. So you're going to get that. We're going to need to go and get some Enderman and Soul Vials, which will be simple. Um, we're going to want an interface. Nice. Um, and then I'm probably not going to automate. I mean, I guess we... I don't think we use those XP... It's like XP infused ingots. Uh, I mean, we might want them. All right, I guess we'll teach that recipe as well. Just in case. Ah, and as long as we don't look upstairs, perfect. I mean, I could can't do it at the bottom, but uh, we're just going to go and grab... Oh, actually, I guess we want... This guy goes in here. What is all this? Can we upgrade? Yeah, there's been an upgrade. So you see like the mod that this interface is from is Applied Energistics 2 Trousers Edition, um, which is, was in the last update. Is there like an upgradable interface or something? Dual interface? Hmm. I mean, I guess a dual interface would be cool. We don't really need it yet. I haven't done any fluid crafting. But all right, uh, time to go catch some Enderman and some Soul Vials. Um, we've got shulkers, but here's some soul vials. Let's go catch a bunch of endermen. It'll be pretty straightforward. Yoink, 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 yoink. And now we should be able to come along. Uh, if I find this and come along to the molecular assembler, we'll check in this recipe. So we need five. So each one takes some of them, some of those ingots, and like an elementium helm, which elementium we can make now. It's just mana steel in the portal. Yeah, because we want the glitch. The glitch sword, which increases in damage over time and also gives you double data from killing mobs with it so yeah and also mobs are going to have a chance to drop pristine matter and you have to be wearing the the full set and we get flight which is probably the main <laughs> the main benefit we're after so can we ask for five five crystals which one is it five ender crystals five weather five weather crystals Missing five soul vials. Uh, I think. 
Right. Oh, you're going to be annoying. Maybe we just... Nah, let's try and sort the recipe. So we find our soul binder. I guess all Endermen can have different stats. So soul binder. Let's change this recipe. And maybe this might only pick up that one soul vial, is my concern. Can we now ask for uh, available one? Hmm. Ah, oh, you have to. Uh, uh, that's all right. All right. So actually we want one more of these. I guess automating it. We probably could. But I've got to like put experience in maybe. For these, we want to end up with weather crystals. So five of these, we should have everything. Go. While that's doing its thing, I've already got one. We grab some mana steel. And we want to, I guess we'll do the sword first. So this is just, we need dream wood, which is just living wood in the portal. Right. Yeah, well, creative flight is going to be nice. It's going to be really, really nice. Uh, mana might be an issue. Let's find out. There's dream wood. There's a stick. Now, is it two become one? To become one. And then we can craft this. Nice. And it's in the portal. Eight glitch ingots. That I haven't done. So we get these glitch hearts and we right click them on. Actually, I think it's obsidian. I think it's obsidian. Oh, it is. Nice. We got 12, and f then we need to slap us in gold, right? And we chuck this in water. We should get some ingots. Nice. And it's eight ingots. The sword. And... Only got one weather crystal so far. I feel like something probably got stuck and it's probably zirconium again. Well, we can get one going, so. Boop, boop, boop. Glitch sword. Awesome. So we can get a maximum damage increase of 18. So we chuck some sharpness on there, that's going to be quite good. And then, yeah, we just repeat that process and actually, I'm going to need more glitch ingots. And we could make the boots, but we don't get the bonus until we got the whole lot. So I just need to do a few trials. Um, yeah, pretty much I just need to do some trials. Our data model is now at the highest possible level. Um, and our sword is already doing 16 damage because he's leveled up four times, I think. Ah, oh, he's only leveled up twice. Cool. So then we grab out our trial keys. We're going to have to make some more. I think these were, oops, not elytra. I think these were pretty cheap, right? Yeah, they're not bad. And killing one Enderman has attuned both. We got empowered glitches on this one. Nice. I think because it's also the self-aware tier, we might get like a bonus chance of getting glitches anyway. Maybe. Uh, so let's do the glitch one. Power of glitches. Oh, and we get rewards of glitch hearts anyway. Yeah, I thought it was. There are now seven waves, but um, that's cool. And they should have a chance of dropping pristine metal. And we don't even have to use the sword anymore, right? I think I want to grab my looting one. 
and we'll just use that on the glitches just in case that affects drop rates. And we should be there. Just making the elementium armor, which I guess we'll try it on because it looks... I mean, I don't think I'd wear it uh, by choice, right? <laughs> um, cosmetic armor, we'll take these off as well. Um, yeah, I guess we're like ditching that armor. I mean, it covers my eyes a little bit. It's kind of cool. It is kind of cool. It is kind of cool. Uh, but no. Nope. Uh, we're going to go for... Now, I don't actually know that I've got enough for all of this. So five. We'll get us the helm. So this, this, and this. Gives us the helm. This, this, and them. Oh, got the boots. Pants, and then... Eight. Oh yeah, we got extra. We got a lot extra actually. Um, eight. Nice. That's cool. That's cool. And yeah, it looks okay, but the best part... Creative flight. Oh, it's good to... <laughs> it's good to be flying again. Let's see a reactor, which... I mean, yeah, this doesn't really look that impressive yet. But, oh, awesome. Awesome. <laughs> oh man, now I really need to fix the roof. And yeah, we can even try and get some enchants. Um, I might even look at digging into getting the, the next levels of uh, enchants for here and trying to get something decent. You know what? We may as well get some decent enchants. And then we chuck these in here. This should let us get... Oh, we need bookshelves. So we've got a whole bunch of these. I don't know how many we need. And I guess that many for now, because we don't have any more blaze rods. Um, and I am just uh, deciding to level up our models. Because we will get um, 80% chance to drop two pristine matter. So that can be quite good. And I mean, does this count as zombies? Uh, no, it does not count as a zombie. Yeah, that pristine matter could be quite useful. Um, since we're not running a... Uh, not running the thing that normally generates these. The simulation chamber, which we, I mean, I think we can get now. I don't think that's too much of a problem. I'm um, gonna guess something like that, so... Oh, we, don't, we don't enchant that. But if we were to chuck this in here, we get to 44. Do we get more if we have these? 46 we do, protection 5, that's quite nice, okay. So I guess, I mean, I could just go get some more blaze rods. 66, can we? 70, but I'm picking this might be too high. Yeah, so that's where it comes in. I mean, do we keep going? Do we get full, full hell shelves around this? And I think this is the most we could get. So... I mean, we need 96 levels. Shock protection, 12. Seems good. Seems good. And can we get cool books? Venom, 6. That sounds pretty cool. Uh, we put sharpness, 3, but I don't think we want that. And actually, we kind of need more experience, right? Um, this insight, which we can get with an enchanter. We might do that and then just grind out some creeper kills. And if we can get knowledge of the ages. Oh, and maybe, uh, so we want knowledge of the ages. Because we don't care about the gunpowder. And also, uh, knowledge book isn't what I want. Time of knowledge. I think we want one of these. Could be quite nice. 
Well, that was pretty simple. <laughs> 12 bottles of enchanting and nine lapis. At 64 and we sh how many levels 23 levels 23 levels inside three um that's a point wait can we disenchant a lens of disenchanting I mean, we could make another one. I guess we'll just chuck it on with an anvil for now. And maybe we can just enchant books. That seems okay. I mean, this works. Um, <laughs> just made some diamond spikes from Cyclic because uh, they drop player drops. And actually, if I do this... Yeah, you will explode. I'm just not sure if we get more experience doing that. Is it worth doing this? Maybe. I've uh, just been looking, and actually let's turn the sky off. i uh, just been looking, looking in my, like in, in here for something that boosts experience, but Increases the amount of experience picked up in experience globes. Consumes books in your inventory to recharge. And we're going to assume it's any book. Like this, we've probably got most of this. Oh, nice. So I'm hoping the charge from this can also be uh, like fixed in our organic infuser thingy. I mean, is that a lot? It's hard to know. Did you kill a chicken? I mean, like, okay, I guess the real test is... Is this now really good? I think we have to be holding it. I mean, it doesn't seem amazing, does it? Wait, what did that sun do? Hmm, I mean, like, it's good experience, but it's just going to take so long to get to, like, level 98. Really need knowledge of the ages, I think. Um... But yeah, can we repair this? In here? No. It seems books in your inventory to recharge. I mean, it seems like... Nah, it seems pretty average. <laughs> that doesn't seem great. I mean, would this be good experience? Give me that stuff. Cool. Want to get heaps of experience? I mean, maybe it's only the first time you kill the Ender Dragon. To get Supremium though, and Dragon Scales. Dragon Egg, I mean... And oh, we do need it for stuff. Okay, so... I ran around the inn for a bit, trying to get levels, and it still seems pretty slow, but I think I might have a solution. So, we can use this dragon egg on a spawner to ignore spawn conditions, which I think... Uh, maybe we should look into it. Hang on. No spawn conditions. Uh, isn't there one that... Increases report player range. Ignores nearby players. That's the one we want, actually. Not the dragon egg. Although I don't know if that counts. But what my plan is... Just get an experience rod. To get a experience obelisk. Um, because this thing... Stores experience? I, does this collect it? Maybe this doesn't collect it. Oh. 
Indorio has an experience vacuum. The issue I can see is he's going to fill this up really fast. Yeah, he's going to fill all that up really quick. Oh wait, can we pipe into this? Yes, we can. Because I think this guy can hold. Oh, why are we doing it this way then? Yeah, that works. We can make that look even more better. There we go. And then we just leave that running all the time. All the time, and we'll eventually end up with enough levels to get some decent enchants in our armor. Sweet. Well, didn't quite get cool enchants in our armor today, but uh, it's literally just a matter of time. Uh, hopefully this doesn't cause too much lag, because <laughs> that spawn is pretty fast. But alright, it's been classic stuff. And uh, see you guys in the next episode.